I want to explain the adjustments under the kimono. Okay, adjustments. Mm. Magical item. <laughs> oh, what's that? So we have a special way of tying the koshi himo to avoid that. Hello and welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have my wife, Harumi, with me today. Hi! So we get a lot of questions about kimono, especially when you are pregnant. Mm. Harumi is pregnant with our third baby right now, our first son, Zen. If you can yes. stand up for us a little bit, you see that Harumi's belly is so much bigger. Yeah, <laughs> take a look at that. And we often get a lot of questions, can pregnant mothers mm. wear kimono? Mm. And the answer is already here. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. But um, you can obviously see that the shapes and all the um, where the belts are and such mm. are completely different. So in this video, we'd like to answer the question, can pregnant women wear kimono and how you can wear it too? So then let's jump right into it. Yay, let's go. So, right, so let's start getting dressed. I mean, you have your regular clothes on so far. Where are you going to start from explaining? First of all, I want to explain the adjustments under the kimono. Okay, adjustments. Mm. Mm -hmm. Before making adjustments, you must first put on the undergarment and tabi socks. Pregnant women should be especially careful not to forget to put on their tabi first because it will be extremely difficult to do it later with a big belly. Put the undergarment on first Make the adjustments on top of it, and then you finally wear the kimono. This underwear comes with a kimono bra suitable for kimono, and is made of stretchy fabric, so it can be worn comfortably anytime. In general, it is considered more beautiful to hide any unevenness of your body when wearing a kimono. Therefore, a non-wire bra is always recommended when wearing a kimono. Especially during pregnancy, wearing a non-wired bra and stretchy underwear is the key to wearing a kimono with comfort. It's a little embarrassing to show up in just my underwear, so I will demonstrate with my clothes on. I usually use thin towel, like not, not too so thick, thick. Yeah, mm -hmm. to fill in the space here. Mm, because your belly is a lot more front than <laughs> yeah, front yeah, of yeah. your body. Mm. Mm -hmm. The first towel fold it in half fold it in half mm. and because the towel's edge is thicker so please slide a little bit oh so you don't attach it together completely mm -hmm. and make it make a triangle here okay and fold it half oh so there's a certain shape you want to make with it yes because there's a triangle here mm -hmm. this triangle will come here Ah, uh, it matches your body. Mm -hmm. And I have a, have a big belly so it won't fall down. Ah, <laughs> uh, good, good, good. <laughs> it stays there. <laughs> the table. Next towel. Next towel. Fold it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, very different. Uh -huh. This wide. Okay, okay. What I want is fit here. Oh, uh, the side of your the body. Side, yeah, the side of my body. Fill in the space of the side of your body. Yes. The one Harumi is using right now is called Suzuro Datejime made from meshed material. Unlike ordinary datejime, it is non-slip, elastic, and can be fastened with velcro. The non-slip fabric allows the towel to be placed firmly on the body without the need to constrict the body more than necessary. Also, you don't have to tie knots, so it's less painful. An item especially recommended for a pregnant woman. However, since the belly area gets bigger and bigger during pregnancy, we recommend that you use one size larger than usual. So this is like what I want over the underwear. Mm. And after that, I will wear this juban. There we go, those are clothes, yeah. Juban, and then kimono. And then finally the kimono. Yes. Okay. So Harimi, you put your tabi socks on yes. and this is the actual juban. Yes. And underneath it, you have the towels and also the hadagi that you showed us earlier. Mm. Perfect. Now I will wear my kimono on. I'm gonna put your kimono on now. Nice patterns. Yes, this pattern is actually, I usually chose when I, I got pregnant mm -hmm. because this is vertical stripe pattern, mm. it will make you thinner. <laughs> oh, look thinner, yeah, look the vertical thinner. lines of the pattern yes. will make you look thinner. Mm. 
And now I will adjust my hem. Okay. And grab a little bit higher than usual because the string after this, usually the string is about here. Ah, uh, much lower. Mm, about like belly button uh -huh. here. But now I have this big belly, I can't <laughs> put my string over my belly. Okay. So the string is come here. Oh, uh, so I have to put it above it now. Mm, above it. So I will grab a little bit higher the mm, kimono. Okay, okay. And do the adjustments. Interesting. And about the length of the hem, usually kimono's hem is slightly touch the floor. Okay, okay. But this is a little bit long for pregnant women because really easy to step on the hem. Mm -hmm. It's very dangerous. Okay. So I will keep it a little bit higher. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's different. You can see your socks a little bit mm. more. But if it's too high, mm. this look, I don't think it look good. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. It's like right in between it then. Yeah, just a little bit higher. Yeah, tripping while you're pregnant is absolutely something you must avoid. Yeah. And make the side line to the side of my body line. Hmm. That's the same as always. That is the same. Okay. There you go. Then, magical item. <laughs> oh, what's that? This is an item called Suzurokoshi Himo. This is a waist string made of the same material as the Suzuro Datejime we introduced earlier. While ordinary waist strings are made of non-stretchable cloth, these Suzuro waist strings are stretchable and non-slip. You just fit it along your body, and there is no need to tie it any tighter than necessary. However, if you make a knot to tie it, the baby may kick it and that tends to hurt. So we have a special way of tying the koshihimo to avoid that. You twirl the string twice and twist. Twist the lower string twice from the upper side of the waist string. Then twist the upper string twice from under the waist string. This will make it easier to tie the waist string so that it will not easily get untied. All right, mm. wow. I did not know you can do it like that. Really? Can you do that with a regular koshimo too or no? Does it have to be this type of koshimo to do this way of tying it? Uh, you can do it any kind of koshimo. Oh, okay, mm. okay. But this one just makes it easier to work. Yes. This product mm -hmm. is called Korin Belt Shikkari. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So it's a little bit different from the regular Korin mm, Belt then. The difference is in the middle, they have this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Attached. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make it into two pieces. Mm. And I take one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is to maintain the angle of the front collar, right? Yes. Front line. And another one. The other mm -hmm. side? Goes inside the inside kimono. Inside the kimono. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It holds on to the inner layer. Yes. And crosses over in the back. Crosses over the back. Comes, comes to the front. front. And you attach it again. Attach it again. Awesome. Now you don't need another waist string here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you usually have two waist strings under the kimono and over it too. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can skip one of the strings. Ah, oh, that is so good. And this is also stretchy. Mm, mm, mm. So this is really comfortable. Very nice. Mm. There is technique to adjust the washori to make your belly look as small as possible. You just have to make the shape of the washori into a U shape. The belly looks a little smaller due to the optical illusion. On the other hand, if it is made into a mountainous shape, the belly will appear larger. As we explained earlier, it's best to try to hide any unevenness of your body to look better with a kimono. So these little techniques can be helpful. And I want my tying as less as possible. Okay. Mm, so I usually don't put any datejime. Oh, okay, now. okay, okay. okay. Mm, just two string here. Like mm. One, two. It's Done. <laughs> yeah, you have one that is made underneath, but you don't want a second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one is for adjustments of my body, right? Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. The second one would be to keep your... Keep mm -hmm. the hashori straight. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. But never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind for now. Yeah, for now. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I will tie this obi. All right, belt. Belt. And usually I will wear hanhaba obi now. Mm, okay. Mm, because yeah. it's lighter, shorter than nagoya obi or fukuro obi. This mm -hmm. is the shortest one. Mm -hmm. So mm, usually I will wear this. Yeah, the most casual kind. Yeah. It's very easy to put on, right? Yes. And the way of wearing it's same. Mm. Just the position is much higher than usual though. Yes. The way you tie the obi is up to you. I often tie a kainokuchi, which is also a man's knot. Personally, I feel this is the easiest way of tying, and I recommend it to you too. Okay, done! Awesome! That was nice. Because you have less items, is it faster than how you'd regularly put a kimono on? Mm -hmm. I think so. So you can see that the obi belt has completely avoided the belly, so it's in a yes. really, really high position. So here, I don't have any string here. I don't have any uh, uncomfortableness here. That's the most important part. Mm. And here, the strings are just fit on the body, mm -hmm. not too tight. Mm -hmm. So it's not really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. mm, but maybe while wearing kimono, you a little bit easy to get tired. Yeah. So that's why I kind of skip all the like datejime or unneeded items to make it like as fast as possible. Okay, mm. yeah. Putting it on itself will make you very tired too. So yeah. you don't want to take too much time doing mm. it. Yes. Mm. Okay, great job. Yay, thank you. <laughs> that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. It was actually my first time watching you get dressed up into your kimono once you got pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. the previous videos, I mean, we watched you do the kimono speed dressing and everything, uh, but you didn't have such a big belly yet, mm. so it was really interesting for me too. Mm. Especially those, all those stretching strings and such. Yeah. You bought it for this occasion, right? Because you got pregnant? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Until then, you knew about these products or? I knew about it, uh -huh. but... You uh, haven't ever tried Yeah, before. yeah. But after using that uh, product, it's mm -hmm. completely different. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Until a certain uh, stage of your pregnancy, mm. you didn't use the items and mm. you're, you were starting to get really, really tired mm. and sick from wearing mm. kimono. And then one day you suddenly bought it, mm. you know, and you were like, this is magic. You know? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And I didn't know about what the magic was, mm. so that was really interesting for me too. Yeah. Do you have any clue of how the people in the past did it though? Like during, for example, the Edo period or maybe in the past, how mm. pregnant women, they just bared with it or? I don't think they have this kind of product. No, at absolutely. That time. No, no, no. Mm, but they just simply wear it loosely, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty mm. sure. Yeah. And the way of tying obi and the height, mm -hmm. everything, I think it's similar, mm, the same. Okay, okay, mm, okay. To avoid so. the belly and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, okay. So you might think having a big belly in front of you will make it impossible to wear the kimono, but with just a little bit of uh, knowledge and techniques, you absolutely can wear the kimono even if you have a big belly. So I hope you learned uh, something new today in this yeah, video. I hope so. But if you have any other questions about kimono or wearing kimono when you're pregnant, it'd be great if you can let us know in the comments if we have to make other videos or maybe just reply to you, you know, in the mm. comments. So please feel free to let me know your thoughts. So everyone, once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.